Okay, so in this video, we're going to focus on actually sending an email to a prospect. Now, this is a very simple process for the most part. What I really want to just bring to your attention is the process of choosing the right template and just how we actually organize the templates in the system so that you can get a better feel for when you need to send cert certain emails all together. So what we've done is essentially come up with a series of a string of emails that just covers different scenarios that we could essentially send out to the client. And then from that particular process, we're able to track those emails when they're sent, make some decisions from that particular point as to what is the next step. So I'm just going to flip over to the email client here. So again, just using my existing contact information. So I'm going to basically make a new call. So click. So if you click an email, this is where you think. So there's note, click an email here. This tab focuses primarily on all email communication. And just below it, there's sort of a email template that you could essentially send out. There's also documents and meetings, but we're not gonna focus on this at this related point. We're just gonna focus on email for this conversation. And what you wanna do essentially is based on the conversation with your client, you're going to decide which email is the right for, for the client. So we have it broken up into two different segments. First, we have the software segment and then we have the website segment. And this just gives you a, a way to quickly choose a template that is actually relevant based on what you're gonna be doing at the onset you're making sales call to cold prospects that essentially knows nothing about the company. So the first thing that you'd want to do is send them an info. Now you could send for either website or for info. I'm just going to choose a send info software in this particular case, just to your point here. And so once you select the template, the first thing that happens is the email automatically gets filled in. Also the from email is obviously your email address. We have the template, so it automatically fills, puts the first name of the prospect and you know here's the info that it promised so this is obviously making the assumption that you would have had a conversation with that prospect you initiated contact and so you're sending off the information that you initially mentioned that you will send them and so it says hi Duane thank you for taking the time to speak with me today as mentioned I would love to set up a 10 minutes call so we can learn more about your business so in this particular case it says can dev services because Dwayne is that, you know, a prospect of Candid Services, which is going to be us. Um, but I would obviously be filled in with whatever company that prospect belongs to. You know, we'd like to help you with your short-term goals and your your short-term objectives and your long-term long -term goals and how we can help you achieve them. So the email has a few links inside of it. The first one is click here to download a brochure. So in other words, if they never got past this section, we have a link here that could take them directly to to an actual brochure itself. If they do decide to read further on, we learn about your business, we evaluate your business needs, and we discuss an action plan, basically to figure out where we could help you with our system and how we could you know, essentially help you improve sales and efficiency. Okay? And we also have you know, a little bit of spiel about what is it that we actually do. Our seamlessly integrated software solution allows you to stay in control, connect with customers, and oversee moving parts of a business. At the end, we have, you know, when you have a moment, check out our website, and then we could schedule a 10 minutes call. And so there's multiple links in this email. And what you're essentially doing is you're really trying to gauge click-through rate. So by having different sections and everything, we want to figure out how many of them have obviously opened the email, but we want to figure out what are they clicking on? Are they clicking on the first link? Are they clicking on the second link? Are they clicking on a big button? And so we keep iterating and move um, and refining the process of the email in order to streamline the process a little bit further. So once you've composed that, now if you had a specific conversation with that client or prospect, in other words, if you have a, had something that is a little bit more unique from the standard sale process, what you want to do is you want to make some edits here. So you say, you know, I know you were busy, but I'm glad we made contact. Thank you for taking time. This is just an example, GL. Just an example to show you, you made some changes. And once you're finished with that, you essentially send off the email. Now, when you send that email out, it does give you a confirmation that the email was sent. And you just scroll down, you will see that actual email here that shows up right below there with the actual full email. Now, if I were to go open that email, I would see the interaction uh, similar to this particular case. So, you know, Dwayne Rung opened the email. Here's the info I promised. I also clicked on the email and it shows you the interaction. 
So this is just a quick overview of sending an email. 